going to show you a, a little trick that uh, is useful in Inventor sometimes. I've already made a, uh, a, a green block here. And uh, what I want to do is I want to put like some kind of an image on it and maybe extrude it. So the way we do that is uh, we can start a new sketch. I'll put it right here on this face. And uh, what we want to do is we want to come up here to this little image icon. And um, I can click on that and then I can go find an image. And, and you can get any image like off of Google Images. I have already just downloaded this little clover right here. Um, and put it on my desktop. So you have to go to Google Images first, get an image that you want to uh, maybe put onto a part and uh, put on your desktop and then click on the image button up here and then get your image. I'm going to open that up and I'll be able to place that somewhere on here and then I'll, I'll left click and then I'll right click and click OK and then I can click on this and I can uh, kind of resize it to what I want it to be and move it up here. I'll just put it up there in the middle somewhere. Okay, so then uh, the tricky part, which uh, takes a little while, is to um, use under the line tool, you'll see uh, the spline tool. And I'm going to get this uh, interpolation one. It creates a spline curve through selected points. And so I'm going to click this. And what you want to do here, um, and this takes a little while uh, to get this to work, but you're going to really want to kind of zoom in on your part. And you're going to come down here on the edge and you're going to click. And then you're going to uh, go around and you're going to just kind of do little clicks as you go around this whole thing. And it's good if you're really zoomed in and as you're going around and it'll kind of put a best fit curve through there and so when you're going around curves especially you'll probably want to go a lot uh, um, less points as you're going through so um, as you can imagine this you know this can take a long time so I'm gonna record I'm gonna pause the movie for a little while while I'm finishing this up and then I'll come back when we're uh, ready to go again Okay, so now I've got all the way around and I'm all the way almost to the beginning. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here on the very first point that I clicked and click that. And that will then make an enclosed loop. Now I didn't do a very good job here, so I'm trying to do this really fast. Whoops. But um, it's not terrible. Okay, so I have outlined my entire image. You really need to go slow with this and zoom way in and do really small points. See, I tried to jump too far at certain places and so it doesn't come out as perfect. Once you're done with that, though, you can right-click on your picture, your image, and uh, um, come up here to delete and go ahead and delete the picture because you don't need the picture anymore. You have your outline on there. I'm going to click Finish Sketch and then I can extrude and uh, pick that face and maybe I want to cut it in to like uh, point, point 0.2 or something okay and uh, there I have a I have a cut out um, picture so um, you can get basically an image and you need to uh, use the spline tool, zoom really far in, and do as many dots as you can as around the thing and get really nice fine-tuned on it. And you can make really nice um, images if you are willing to have a little bit of patience and uh, get that to work. So that's a cool little feature, and that shows you how to, you can uh, put various image and cutouts of different things on your parts.